Okay, I'm going to talk about the changing image of Perl. I have given this presentation a couple of times, and I just removed a couple of things that didn't make sense and added some more things that I hope make more sense. So I hope this is better. Um, I do 23 plus years of Perl now. Um, Liz and I started our company, XXLink Internet Services, in 94, and we were the first company building and hosting websites in the Netherlands and Belgium and a big part of the rest of Germany. And it took the competition months before they overtook us, before they joined us in providing this essential service to the Dutch economy. Um, in 1998, we had this as our homepage, and all these things are companies that had their websites made by us. And some of those companies are very well made, known, like Exo Nobel. Nobel, the Nobel Prizes. We did Exo Nobel World find tens of thousands of people working there. Um, so we had several thousands of websites that were hosted by us. And for everything we used Perl, including the hosting process and domain name registration. Just had a little script, domain name register. Um, so we used it for everything. Even our graphics artists and account managers used it. And we promoted Perl as well. So we told, uh, I, I taught Perl as well. So maybe some of you know, know uh, John Anderson, Gene Hack, he gives the course um, from zero to Perl. Well, I gave that course dozens and dozens of times and I can't program in Perl anymore. My brain is fried. So what do you do when you, don't, when you can't program Perl anymore? You do marketing. That's the good division of labor. Oh, your brain is fried. Funny? Which is why I do it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fried brain. Um, we were present at the first 10 Dutch, some of the 10 first Dutch Pearl Monger meetings. Uh, we didn't found them, but some, of, some people started it, and at some point we joined them. And we had an office and with some nice room, and we had them there several times. At some point, we started a new company with a nice office, and we hosted them there as well. So, and I, what I do at the Pearl QA Hackathon, is I provide food and drinks and snacks and whatever. Shopping, somebody needs a Ferrari, I go out and get a Ferrari. Uh, so, and I did that at the time for the Pearl Monger meetings as well. Um, which brings me to what people thought of Pearl in the 90s. Well, basically, in the beginning of the 90s, uh, Pearl was basically the only language that was used for internet stuff. So when we talked to <coughs> new customers, we told them we use Perl. Yeah, fine. Didn't know about Perl. Go ahead. Not as well known as, as it is today. Programmers didn't know Perl. They knew C. If they were good at C, hired. Uh, but other things like Python or Java or PHP, yeah, not so much. So many people. They were there, but so we had to teach Perl to a lot of people. Um, Mostly, people were positive about Perl. Like, it's the can-do language, you can do stuff with it, it works, it works fast, almost no errors. If you have errors, next day it's probably fixed by all those online people doing uh, good open source stuff. Uh, we loved Perl, and we kept on using Perl for all the stuff that we do ever since. Uh, we sold a company uh, on the brink of the millennium, and uh, we argued with the new owners and they kicked us out in the summer of 2000. We left. Uh, some depressing times followed and at some point we started promoting Pearl again. Uh, at some point I start uh, I start keeping a calendar of Pearl events, uh, mainly for listening to me, so we knew, okay, we go. Well, we want to go to uh, that one, or that one, no, we skip that one, etc. So I think we hold the record for a number of Pearl events that we go to, 19 Pearl events in one year, and we did that three years in a row, every year, 19 events. Okay. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Trick, yeah. Uh, before is um, Ruffel uh, held the most, he had 17 in one year, and I'm not counting Pearl Monger meetings, <laughs> so, which I go on regular, on average to two or three every month. Um, People asked me to print that and give it to them so they could 
know where to, where to go. Well, that's a little bit of poor marketing. I refuse to put that online because that make, makes it an obligation for me to maintain it. Just like the Pearl 6 brochure that I started. I'm so happy that Mark is doing that now. Thank you very much. And what a work he makes of that. So get it from my desk if you don't have it. It's a beautiful piece of work. Um, so we went places. Uh, we maintained the, the booth since 2010, dev room since 2011. So people of all sorts of open source come to the Pearl booth and listen in to talks. Come to the Pearl booth, OSCOM booth, all the conferences that we visit. Uh, look, there's Mark again. <laughs> I, should, I should get married to the guy. Don't tell this. Don't tell my wife either. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe not. I don't know who's more dangerous. My kids would find it hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, the, since 2000, the attitude became more negative. Well, we had more competition. Uh, Python and Java got more used than uh, before. And we had a lot of flame wars uh, around the year 2000. And that was killing uh, Pearl at the time. People just walked away. Uh, like, I don't want anything to do with Pearl in my life ever again. Um, we started doing Pearl 6. And people did less on Pearl 5. Because they thought, oh, Pearl 6 is coming, so why would we do anything on Pearl 5? So that was a perceived stagnation. Um, I sort of liked the obfuscated Pearl, but it's not good for marketing. People thought, what the hell is that? If all Pearl is like that, we will not use Pearl. Um, like I said, the other languages are on the rise. Uh, more people went to uh, Python and Java and PHP. So the percentage of people using Perl is coming down. <coughs> of course, I know that a lot of Python people also used Perl. A lot of Java people also used Perl. A lot of sysadmins using PHP, whatever, also used Perl. But the main language was no longer Perl for those people, like it was. And um, some people started saying very nasty things about Perl. Perl is line noise, uh, it's a write one language, it's stupid, it's unable to maintain, uh, well, some very nasty words. Uh, when we got to a conference, I had, at Fosdem, I had three years in a row, every year we had a guy, and when he saw me and my booth, he <laughs> ran up to me, and he said, <laughs> Things like that. You should be dead, you should not be here, etc. And I just stood there. Well, thank you. Thank you. Are you done? <laughs> well, I, have, I wish you a happy day as well. Thank you. <laughs> and when you are when you are when you're happy with it, please return to Pearl. Anyway, screaming lunatic. Yes. Seven. <laughs> oh. Oh. I've got two companions who keep me company, so don't don't be too bit. Well, we had a sticker. For some time in a business card that was going around in the Pearl community, Pearl 6 marketing. Well, at the time it did. I'm quite sure it doesn't do that anymore. We are getting better at marketing, certainly with Mark Keating as marketing chair and me going to conferences and stuff. And we have a lot of stuff to give away. And every now and then people come in with a little bag and they fill it with two it stickers, buttons, brochures. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to give that away to my colleagues, and I'm going to this conference, I'm going to hand them out for you there. Uh, I've handed out, I've sent bags with goodies to other people at other conferences, even as far as Japan and Australia. And sending me pictures back of, look, Wendy, I made a booth with your stuff. Better stuff. Um, so, how to change the image of Pearl? Well, um, keep going on with Pearl, just keep going on, don't desert it. Do some Pearl promotion, tell, it to you, tell, it, tell about it to your colleagues. Uh, go to Pearl conferences, write Pearl codes, uh, uh, write blogs and stuff. Well, of course, Pearl 5 has picked up a new version, new version, new version. Now we have a new version every year. Uh, Pearl 6 was released finally, and <coughs> in the two years before that, it was visible that it was something. It could be used for something. It was used on, dark, on, on, on the dark pen as well. So. Liz and I, Mark, Ovid, and several other people, we stayed positive, even Anne. Um, so, yeah, that's an example of stuff that I have on my desk, you know it. It's all there, still. Um, so how many of those languages do you know have all that stuff when they do marketing? Like, uh, the last couple of years, the P5 
people of Python had a booth at Fostum as well. And they were angry that we had two tables and they had only one table. <laughs> and then the people of Fostum, when they heard the complaint, looked at that table. But you have one pile of t-shirts, one pile of programming Python, one set of stickers. That's all you have. Why do we, why do we need two tables? Ah, because we are Python and they are only Perl. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, they still have one table and we still have two tables. <laughs> um, so keep calm and Perl on. However, to bring back Perl back into the attention of managers who tell their people that they can work in Perl instead of forbidding their people who know Perl, because I know one big Dutch company whose management is not allowed to know that they use Perl there. It's a big supermarket chain in the Netherlands. <laughs> Every time you hear BP, that's a Perl program. Management doesn't know it's Perl. And, and, and the people who make that stuff, they want to keep it that way. They don't want to talk at conferences. <laughs> um, so we need more books. We need uh, new versions of good old books, like a higher order Perl, uh, uh, Perl best practices, uh, beginning Perl. Make it beginning Perl 6. Would love that. I know you're too busy. Um, we need educational materials for trainers, for schools, for universities, uh, for training institutes. Uh, I would like to see more articles written about Perl in magazines, maybe even newspapers. Um, we tried to get them at this conference, didn't come. But we did have the National Dutch uh, News Association, the ANP, publish some stuff, thanks to Judith there. So they, they send out several press releases in several languages. So I have no idea where they wound up, but if we, if we see them, I will have a copy. Um, so the, the rising popularity of Perl even brought Larry Wall to FOSS them. 15 announces Perl 6, got a standing ovation for a full room. Something like 1,200 people were there. It was nice. Um, well, FOSS them, it's still so large that I am amazed at numbers like this. How many people come there? Pardon me? I'm just amazed. Yes, it is. Um, and some of those, uh, so, uh, quite a lot of open source projects uh, want to have a, uh, a track as well and a booth as well. It, it's just full. Fosdam is full. They don't have any more rooms at the University of uh, Brussels there, Free University of Brussels. Can't have more open source stuff there. Unless they start building new, new buildings. But I'm not sure that they want to do that for open source. Uh, a typical Perl dev room, it's something like this. Uh, normally, we have, normally we have all talks, uh, the room is loaded. We have to put a sign on the door, it's full, can't come in anymore. Fire brigade regulations. Um, well, we had a nice booth there at Oscar. This didn't do that year, this year. Um, so, many of us worked on many aspects uh, to improve the, the image of Perl. We stopped the flame wars, we stopped obviously the code, we, stopped, uh, we, we started with modern Perl. There's even a book now with that name. Uh, we kept on having conferences. At some point, the amount of conferences and workshops in one year was so big, the listener had to make a decision and only could go to 19 conferences. <laughs> <laughs> only 19. If we had more time, you know, if we had the, the Harry Potter time turn up, we could have done 25 or something. <laughs> um, uh, the number of books kept coming. Uh, we, not only me, but other people made brochures as well. Uh, we kept on a friendly face, like the Zen uh, way of do, dealing with things on the Pearl 6 channel. Uh, even though people came in with, with rage, like, hey, Pearl 6, yeah, how can we help you? Oh, you, you can't help me because Pearl 6 is blah, blah, blah. No, no, but really, what is your problem? And at some point, that person starts helping with Pearl as well, fixing documentation and stuff. So. <laughs> um, friendly face, friendly writing, welcome to newbies, that helps. Um, so, I think Pearl is on the up again. I hear from not only Pearl Careers and uh, Eligo and Grand Street and the other companies that do Pearl, that they have more jobs more newbies and more projects. Oh, I should call you, mention you of course, but I don't think that you have that many on the app. Are you? It's a steady go? It's, we've got a, most of our projects are new projects. We do have some stuff where people hire us for factory legacy, okay. but it's new stuff we're doing. 
Curtis is in this job as well. Um, what I hear from the people that I know that have worked with him, he's awesome as well. So, um, so help Pearl and help yourselves. Because if Pearl is on the decline again, your jobs are uh, in danger. So write, blog, give presentations, join in hackathons, uh, vlog, ex go to expos, donate money, chat, patch, whatever. Um, when you write an article or a blog about Perl, make sure you at least once mention the word Perl programming language in your article. Maybe even in the title, in the header of the, of the page, whatever. Because if you only use Perl, it can also mean the city of Perl, the psychologist's family of Perl. They are, uh, there's a series of novels written about Perl. She's a programmer slash detective, and she's awesome. Uh, and Tiobi, Tiobi um, checks for Perl programming language of programming language of Perl for the in indicators of how popular Perl is. And managers look at Tiobi. I know Tiobi is worthless mostly, but people look at it and say, "Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, Perl has dropped down to the 12th place." Well, by now we are back at seven, eight, nine or something, so top 10, which is good. So heed that advice and read this blog. Um, by Mifaldu. Um, he investigated that quite a bit. I will try to put this thing online so you can read it again. So I will put it on as a link on uh, the entry for this talk. Um, so, uh, what happened lately? People stopped the nasty comments to us. The last two, three years, I didn't get nasty comments like you're done or you're dying or you're dead or you shouldn't be here. Um, I still read some nasty comments on what is it, code, code monkey or whatever, uh, but mostly positive stuff. Um, even had some very nice things like, "Oh, you're here! How nice to see you!" Oh, Pearl! I always love Pearl. Oh, or well, I had to work in Python for a long time, and now I've got a job. I can use Pearl again. I'm happy. It, it just makes me happy. <laughs> so that's that's nice to hear that uh, after many years of negative comments. Um, so, thank you, and I'm done now. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> so, Anne, you wanted to bombard me with questions. Um, no, I wouldn't. See? That's what I meant. I, I told you you wouldn't. <laughs> any, other, any other people with questions about this? Like, why I didn't do anything? Solvent. Awesome. That's not a question. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yes. Uh, my manager tells me uh, we, we should have some sort of certification in order to become more um, professional looking. Say. I agree with you. In the Netherlands, there's one company short of doing that, but they just need applications for that. And they can do it in English as well. They can do that certification process in, 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 in English as well. Uh, if you're wondering which company it is, I'm at blank right now. John, can you help me? No? You've, you've worked for them as well, didn't you? Training for them? Yeah, full training for them at some point? Um, um, okay, they have a certification process thing at Tidos, for instance. Every year. Okay, well, come back to me if you want to know more about it. Any more questions? No? Did you ever run? Uh, CCC conference? No, no, no. That's yeah. very go and convince people. Uh, that's <laughs> no, no, the last no. conference I know where hate speech is. Yeah. And you know, the only people who actually dared to step up it was me. Nobody else, and it was a couple of Perlmongers among that uh, against uh, among that talk for a couple of thousand people sitting in that talk. So next time, if you are there. No, I will not go there. <laughs> I won't get list with CCC because yeah. CCC is camping, isn't it? No, no, no. no? The conference this year. It's okay. They CCC. make uh, camping every four years or five years, yes. and the uh, conference is between uh, Christmas and Silvester yeah. every year. Yeah. Um, and now the CCC conference is going to Leipzig. I'm from Leipzig. Okay. Um, if I can help. Anyway, uh, to get to this conference and do so, some so things. When is it this year? Um, Christmas and New Year's. Oh, okay, okay. 
I might be able to, to do that one time. It's bigger than first time, isn't it? Okay, I will. No more questions? Thank you, God. Oh, Salva! <laughs> yes? Yeah. That's, that's not a question. <laughs> I have a question. Who else thinks the wedding has been doing close? I can that. I think I had a question to some Mark Salva at the end of my comment. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, Hugo, do you have a, a sense of how external people are perceiving the difference between 12.5 and 12.6. I mean, do, do, no, they, do, um, do people understand that or are they even aware of it? As, as soon as they have had a talk with me, yes. Before that, no. Okay. Re, most of the people really think, okay, six, pill 6 is there, pill 5 is finished. Okay. That's the comment. Right. So why is that still pill 5? That's still the comment. Those That's people don't know anything about pearl. They only know that there's pill 5 and pearl. That's the only thing they know. It's, it's like yeah. knowing that uh, Renault takes over uh, Citroën and therefore Citroën don't, no longer exists. Yeah? That's yeah, it's like, like Windows, yeah. Well, we have no Windows 10 and that's why Windows 8 does not exist anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, understood. So I, I, I was wondering if anybody else has noticed that a lot of GitHub projects that are clearly Perl projects uh, get, uh, often will get labeled as C or something else. Uh, especially access projects, they'll be labeled as C projects, not Perl yeah. projects, which skews yeah. the numbers too. Um, that's that's that, that's one of the things. Yeah. Like this big supermarket, those people hide the fact that they use Perl from their managers. Uh, many people who do open source projects use Perl for that and don't mention it. And it's our job to change that. It's it's a gradual job. We will never change it like this, but it's a gradual job. People proud again. Yes. Well, I'm sort of proud of Pearl. <laughs> Look, 1997. I did Pearl moments before that. Anyway, so thank you. Go on your merry way. <laughs>